Hi there you, my bidding friends. I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Bidding and I'm coming to ask you, have you done your Christmas gifts and Christmas jewelries to wear? If not, there is another idea from me. This time it is for candy cane earrings. I'm making them with Toho beads that my friends from BB Craft were so kind to send me for testing. You will find them there with a discount code as well. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video and in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials and I have a long Christmas playlist that you will also see there in description. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of Toho beads. This is turquoise and this is red, also called cherries. Down there in description you will find a full list of the materials with the links to the site of the BB Craft and the mentioned discount code. And the, down there you will also find a Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, a link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, and what else I'm using are these earring findings also from BB Craft. Uh, this is Nymon Nylon Thread which is 0.2 millimeters, that is size D. And here I provide a free pattern that I did myself. I will also share it on Facebook so you could download it. Size 10 beading needle and scissors. And I'm gonna be using brick stitch but if you're not familiar with it don't worry I'm showing it really easy and uh, if you are a beginner, you will also be able to do it. So now let's get started. Okay, guys, so first I should tell you that usually when I make brick stitch, I use Mayuki Delica beads and you could also use Aiko Treasuries. The important things is that the beads are in a cylindrical shape and that is why I decided to use Toho beads in this case because they are also cylindrical and it worked just fine. Okay, so now I'm going to start with my pattern. You will see it here and here at this corner. So first I will make this row. I'm taking a turquoise and a red. Okay, so a turquoise and a red. Okay, the first row is a little bit tricky. And I'm sliding those down. I will leave here a tail because later I will put my needle and finish my work. Okay, now I have this. And as I'm exiting from the red, I'm going backwards through the turquoise bit and I pull. Now I have this, and you see how those bits are arranged. Holes are pointing at this side and they are next to each other. Then I'm going again through this red bead. Okay, only the first row starts like this, the others are a little bit different. And now here again I have a turquoise and a red and I'm going to add them the same way. Take a turquoise, go through the red and pull. Arrange them like this next to each other. Then I go through this turquoise and I'm going to take a red and I go back like this. Of course, if you decide to make the ones with the white instead of turquoise, when I say turquoise, just take white. I go through this red one and what I want to do, guys, is reinforce my work, reinforce this first row. Okay, now as my first tricky row is ready, let's continue with the next row. Next row consists of five beads and I'm going to start the brick stitch. And because here I have four and here I have five, I will make an expanding brick stitch or an increasing brick stitch. Which means that I will take a turquoise and a red because here Turquoise and red is what I start this row from and when I make brick stitch I always start the row with two beads and 
because I'm increasing, I have more beads in this row, I will go through the first of those thread bridges that you see here, this one. Later I will show you what I do when I decrease. Okay, I go under this thread bridge, I pull, and I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Okay, so now you see I'm here at this one and now I need turquoise, red turquoise. And I take this one and I go under the next thread bridge. Now from now on I will use these thread bridges to add beads. Here I'm adding them one by one. One turquoise. Then at the next thread bridge, one more turquoise. Um, uh, sorry, not turquoise, but red. One more red, I meant. And then you need to have five beads in this row and you added four. So what you need to do is to add one more of this beautiful turquoise color, like this. And use the same thread bridge here at the end that you already have been through with the red and add this one here okay now in my next row guys you see i have four beads with which means i decrease and i always start with two beads as i told you and they are turquoise and red so i take a turquoise and red and here i have uh, one thread bridge but I'm not going through it I will go through the second one because I decrease when I increase I go through the first and when I decrease I go through the second thread bridge now uh, you see what I have and I always go through the bit that is closer to the center of my work and I pull but you see now they are stretching because I'm going through the second thread bridge. So this means I need additional reinforcement of those beads. Go again through the turquoise and again through the red to make them stay nice and tight next to each other. In this way, you form this nice shape. Okay, so I'm at the third row and I need turquoise and red and now again turquoise and red. I take a turquoise and I go under the next thread bridge. And a red and I go under the next thread bridge. Okay. and I have this row ready as well and because here I decrease here I'm not adding any more beads only four beads okay then it comes again increasing and I'm here at this side so I need to take a red and a turquoise always start with two and go if you increase, you always go under the first thread bridge, like this, and then through the one that is closest to the center. And here, because I increase, my beads stay in a nice shape and I don't need to reinforce them. Only when I go through the second thread bridge and decrease, they stretch and that is why I need to reinforce them. Okay, now I take one red and I go under the next thread bridge. I'm alternating the colors until the end. One turquoise, go under the next thread bridge. And in this row I have five beads and I am increasing. That is why I will add one more red here at the last thread bridge where I added the turquoise before that. I'm using the same thread bridge to add the red one. And then back through it. 
then again I'm going to show you a decreasing and an increasing row and I will let you do this by yourself until here okay so now decreasing row starting with red and turquoise so I take red and turquoise and I go because I decrease under the second thread bridge you see first second and I go under the second one and what I do when I go through the second thread bridge I reinforce because I don't want my beads to stretch you see and to be in a odd um, wonky shape okay then again one red go under this thread bridge and like this then again one turquoise go under the following thread bridge and go like this okay I will show you one more time increasing brick stitch one two three four five I did five rows up to now and this is the sixth row and it starts with turquoise and red so I'm taking a turquoise and a red and I go under the first thread bridge because I'm increasing because I add five beads here and I go like this don't need to reinforce because they're not stretching okay one two three four five six and here i need turquoise red turquoise okay and now guys i'm going to continue absolutely the same way following this pattern you could pause on it like this and i want to reach this 17th row you see make this is the 16th row and when i reach to the 17th i'll be back to tell you how to continue okay guys and the same way i did 16 rows now i'm up to this 17th row which is in fact this one one two three four don't pay attention uh, to these beads we'll add them after that just now focus on adding these beads and because i finish here i will add them in this direction red turquoise red turquoise uh, i'm here now i take a red and a turquoise and i go under the second thread bridge and then the familiar steps of going through the one that's closer to the center and reinforcing. Then add two more. Okay, now I have this. Now I want to exit through this red bead from this side to the outside so i'm going to make some thread repositioning okay now i exit here out of this red and what i want to do now guys you see i'm here at this row now i'm up to this bead and i'm going to add here a turquoise bead okay this one is a turquoise after this four that i added the fifth one and how i'm going to add this i take it and i go under this thread bridge here now i have this one and now i need a red turquoise a red turquoise a red how i'm going to add them red and go through it turquoise 
and go through it. And again, Okay, and I'm adding them the same way as I did this first row in the beginning. Now, uh, here is where I am. I'm finishing with this bit. And now what I want to do is flip my pattern in this direction and add this turquoise, red turquoise. How I do this? I'm flipping it like this and a red uh, turquoise, red turquoise, this row of three. So, as I'm exiting here, turquoise and red. And because I'm decreasing, I'm going under the second thread bridge here and pull. And then through the one that is closer to the center of my work. And then reinforcement because you know I'm decreasing, so I need reinforcement. And then again, I need a turquoise and go under the next thread bridge. Okay, now I have a red turquoise thread added. And what I need is another turquoise and a red and I decrease and I take them and I go under the second thread bridge here. And I go and reinforce them because I decrease I need reinforcing. Okay guys, and now what I need to do is go through some beads and reposition my thread so I exit through this red one. Okay, and I go like this, then I go through this turquoise here, and then I go through this red here. Okay, now I have this. I have this, I'm exiting out of this bead. And now in the next row, I start decreasing and then I increase at the end. How I'm going to do this, I'm going to add a red and a turquoise. And because I decrease, I go under the second thread bridge here. And I go through the turquoise. And I reinforce. Okay. Now I added this and this and one by one add red turquoise until the end. And when I'm up to this red, I'll be back. So I will put them on my work off camera and I'll be back. Okay, guys. And I'm up to this red bead. You see on my pattern here, uh, here in this row I have 10 beads. Here in this next row, from here to here, I also have 10 beads. But from this side I decrease and from this side I increase. And I am up to this red bead and now I need to add this turquoise bead. And I'm taking it and I'm adding it here at this side like this and I go here and now guys I have this row and my next in my next row I have nine beads and uh, I'm decreasing from both sides and I start with a red and a turquoise and I'm going to show you this step 
go under the second thread bridge then go through the turquoise which is closer to the center and backwards then alternate them adding them one by one until the end and you will have nine beads in this row and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here and i just added the nine bead from this row i'm here at this row and now it comes decreasing row with eight seven six and five beads and i'm sure if you have done everything up to here you will be able to make these rows without my help but uh, i will be coming back to show you when i add a row and i'm just finishing the row with eight beads i will make the one with seven and i'll be back and here I'm finishing the row with the seven beads. I will make the one with six. And this is the row with six beads. I'm starting the one with five. Okay, and I just finished now the row with five beads. And here I am at my pattern, the row with five beads. And here I'm going to attach my earring finding. So I need to exit out of this central red bead. How I do this, I go through this one, then through the one in the center. Then I want to take two seed beads, red ones, and I take my earring finding and I go through it and slide those down. Then I take two more seed beads and I go in the same red that is in the middle. Okay, now I have this and I want to make an additional reinforcement and how I'm going to do this, I want to go through the neighbor turquoise bead and like this, then through these red beads and again through the neighbor turquoise bead. And if you want to make one more reinforcement, you could do like this. Okay, and now I want to go through some beads zigzagging. I don't need to make a knot here, guys zigzagging will be enough to secure my work but if you feel like it you could make a small knot as well it's up to you okay zigzagging zigzagging and when i feel i have enough zigzagging i will cut my thread Okay, and I will repeat the same thing with this tail thread here. I will put my needle on it, I will zigzag through my beads and cut it, and my earring will be ready. Okay guys, and now my Christmas candy cane earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell. In this way you will be notified for new tutorials, usually twice a week, and you will be inspired often. You could also check description for full list of materials, links where to buy beads from with a discount code, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and uh, link to my second channel and also down there you will see what you will get if you decide to become a member thank you so much for watching bye bye from me